Welcome back to the fifth annual uh, Wisconsin Saxophone Summit. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I know we've all been missing this uh, in the last couple of years. I'm just so excited we can uh, do this again. Um, so throughout the program, we'll kind of introduce all the pieces and introduce ourselves. But that last piece we heard was from um, Fernanda Crook, um, Saxophonia de Camera. We're really, it's really been wonderful in the last couple of decades. We've really gotten to know uh, Fernand's music much more ever since uh, Claude Long put out the recording of uh, the Sonata in C sharp minor for alto saxophone piano. We've discovered that she has, has this wealth of pieces for our instrument, and we've never heard them. 
and it's so wonderful that they're being performed now, they're published now, and so I, when they first got published, I like bought every single one of them because I was so excited about it. And then when we formed this quartet, like, hey, we absolutely need to play some more Fernandes music because it's really, really beautiful. Uh, next, we're gonna have uh, Nikki talk a little bit about Red Pine. Oh, I get a microphone, I feel very special. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's really exciting to be here having been to the summit a couple times now. It's great to have it in person and running again. The next piece on the program you are going to hear is Kristen Custer's Red Pine. It was a piece that was actually written uh, in celebration of Donald Sinta's retirement from the University of Michigan. Kristen is on composition faculty at the University of Michigan and the piece was originally premiered at his retirement celebration by the Donald Sinta Quartet, a quartet Comprise, comprised of former students of Donald Sinta. Uh, the piece is meant to reflect one of Kristen's favorite hikes in Ontario, Canada, where she's from. It's, it's, um, this particular hike is a part of a forest that consists of several red pine trees, hence the title Red Pine. And it's meant to also reflect the variety of different timbres that can be explored in the saxophone quartet and how that can represent looking at red pine trees in a variety of different ways, whether you're up close, perhaps holding the branches in your hand, or standing from afar and seeing hundreds of red pine trees. So it's a really beautiful piece. And the final piece you'll hear before we take a little bit of a pause is Bop by Jennifer Higdon, a piece that was written uh, for the 20th anniversary 20 year anniversary of the Prism Quartet. I think I said 10 year anniversary in our last concert, which was a mistake. So the 20th year anniversary, they've been around a lot longer than 10 years. And so several short one minute pieces were actually written for that celebration. And this is one of them. And I think the title bop is very characteristic of the piece. And I think you will also find it similar. So we hope you enjoy Red Pine and Bop by Jennifer Higdon.
Hopefully. Can you hear me? There it is. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so I want to take a little time to introduce ourselves. So I, you and me, I'm Drew Wang. Over here we also have David Hastings on tenor saxophone. <laughs> yeah, former professor at the University of Wisconsin Students Point and current professor at the University of Wisconsin Students Point, Miles Boothright. <laughs> and professor of saxophone at the University of Wisconsin Milwaukee, Dr. Nikki Roman. She always travels with her fan club. That's all right. <laughs> um, yeah, we're just so happy to make this happen. And this is kind of an interesting group. You know, I, maybe I'll pass the mic over to some of my colleagues, because um, I was the last person that was asked to join. So I think I should probably turn it over to maybe some of the first. David, it's your, your idea. Yeah, well, um, thank you. Um, yeah, I've been retired for four years. Uh, but something in my mind said it's not over yet. So I decided to uh, just inquire informally, first of all, Nikki, who was visiting, and I thought maybe there would be a, well, yeah, that sounds great, but I'm, she is very busy and performing all over the place and teaching and so forth, but she immediately said, yes, I'm in. So then we went to Miles, and I sort of expected the same thing, given the busyness of their schedules. But he said, boom, I'm in. And then we talked about adding Drew, and he immediately said, yes, let's do this. So we're on a journey together. And I'm very, very honored and privileged to play with these three. Just, it's, um, it's just, it's really great. Um, we want to continue our program with a, um, man, many of you, all of you may know this piece. But because the saxophone is an invented instrument, it has a history, and its history includes many, many, if not all genres of music, uh, but its intention uh, in the beginning was an orchestral um, sound. And through that, uh, there was an inventor of the saxophone who is, was, Adolf Sax, and then uh, he also was professor of uh, saxophone at the Paris Conservatory, and there was four of them, was four, it's four. The second one was Marcel Mule. The third one was Daniel Dufayet, and the present one is Claude Delongo. So there's been only four, and in that, in that history, the, the inventor of this beautiful instrument, and then Marcel Mule, who is kind of the inventor um, of the saxophone quartet. And within that influence, um, he connected with composers through the Paris Conservatory, and one of which was Jean Rivier, who wrote Grave and Presto. And so we'd like to play that for you. 1930-something, it was written. I don't have the date off the top of my head. But we, uh, the, the group is interested in playing all kinds of uh, composers, particularly a diverse uh, group that we want to bring to the attention of all. Uh, but also we want to go back sort of into the history and maybe bring forward some of the pieces that uh, kind of establish that side of the instrument. So, without further ado, Graven Presto by Jean Rivier.
Thank you so much, everybody. Um, uh, I'm going to introduce the last two pieces for you uh, before we play our final um, selections. Um, the next one is entitled Peace by David Muslanka, um, a, a really uh, wonderful composer and, and friend to the saxophone world who sadly passed away in uh, 2017, about five years ago. Um, but this was actually written as sort of in conjunction with another of his very well-known pieces for saxophone quartet entitled Songs for the Coming Day, um, and that was premiered uh, by the Masato Komoi Quartet. This particular composition, entitled Peace, was really written as an encore for that opening performance, but it's such a special composition that we wanted to kind of isolate it and feature it all, all on its own. Uh, very much inspired by uh, the chorale music of, of Johann Sebastian Bach and even the kind of song without words writing of Mendelssohn. So you'll hear that uh, very kind of plaintive, uh, meditative melody and writing in this beautiful composition. And then we're going to turn things completely around uh, with our final piece called Squeeze, written by Augusta Reed Thomas, who teaches at the University of Chicago. Um, another great friend of the saxophone world, and this particular um, final piece sort of blends influences from all across the map, ranging from bebop uh, and jazz to Stravinsky and Bartok and the intensity of Bartok string quartets and the sort of quirkiness of Stravinsky's writing and a little bit of Bach influence as well. You may also notice that we're doing uh, some instrument rotation up here, um, which has been a lot of fun. This is sort of a modular quartet approach where different folks play different um, uh, roles in the ensemble and we really enjoyed that and so you'll get to see um, uh, Dr. Whiting over here uh, switching up horns once again for that last piece so um, again this is David Mislanka's piece followed by Augusta Reed Thomas squeeze we hope you enjoy
Uh, thank you all, and uh, let's kind of break the, down the stage a little bit before we have uh, Roxy come out and give her master class. So if you need to go use the restroom, take a little break, go buy a saxophone from High Music, whatever you need to do in this time, go ahead and just take a little break. All right, we'll see you back soon.